on Shaber 1000 here today we got a brake light out so I'm going to show you how to change it's real simple four screws let's go ahead and change this so she don't get a ticket Okay guys, so a little bit of cracking there. I've never since we've been together uh, four and a half years I've never had to put any taillight bulbs or anything in this truck so you know I've had to do headlights and front turn signal bulbs but I haven't had to change any in the back so they last a long time. They're not LEDs they're just a double filament bulb just one of these that's all it is so this is the turn signal this is your reverse lights this is your brake and tail light so and I know a lot of you guys already know that but some of you might not and But I noticed brake light when uh, I backed the boat off the trailer and she was taking the truck up to park it, truck and trailer up to park it, I noticed this brake light was out. So I figured for a $3 bulb, there's no sense in getting a $150 ticket. So... So it's going to be this bottom one, which is right down here. I don't know what you can see and what you can't. Right here. Right there. So, should just be able to. That's been in here. <laughs> the problem might be original. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Does this come out? Yeah. Sometimes these will come out. There we go. Alright, so it's the bottom bulb here. You push in and turn a quarter turn counterclockwise. See how dark it is? Okay, so now you're. There's a certain way these go, like that. These little ears. Just look in there. One will be down farther than the other one. So it'll go like this. And you push it in and turn it a quarter turn. Same way if you take it back out. Okay, so when you take it out, you push it in and turn it counterclockwise. Well, probably not even a quarter turn, but and when you put it back in, in, just till it clicks. There we go. Now Let's check and make sure our lights are working. Okay, so our tail light is working. Now, I gotta somehow put my foot on the brake and look at the camera. Okay, cool. So, good to go. So these 2003s, some of them you gotta take the socket out, but this one apparently you don't have to, so just make sure you get your seal in there. Put that on there. And put your screws back in. Really simple work. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, for those of you that don't know how to do it. Now sometimes these are kind of, there you go. You got to look in here. There's a little plastic square piece 
make sure your screw goes in the center of that. And what I do is I start them that way if I got to pull it back a little bit and see I can. Usually once you get two in you're good to go. Oops, guess what, this one takes a long one. I forgot to mention that. Uh. See, two long ones and two short ones. The long ones will go on this side and the short ones will go on that side. and get it started make sure it's yeah it's getting into the plastic part and there you go really simple now I've always got a couple little tools I got a, a straight screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver uh, a couple hand wrenches, some pliers. I got like a little tool kit, a couple sockets, and a uh, couple ratchets. So I got this extra one. I'm going to keep in the toolbox of the truck. That way, if we're out somewhere, I don't have to go stop and buy one. I can just pull into a gas station or whatever and change it all right finish tightening these up all right all done hey okay guys so there's how you change a tail light bulb in a uh 2003 Toyota Tacoma uh, it's like what is it from the late 90s into 2004 2005 they're all pretty much the same like this a lot of different vehicles Ford Chevy's uh, some of them you'll have I'll show you here real quick now some tail lights to take the lens out You'll have a couple screws over here, and then you'll go inside here somewhere. You know, just look at it and you'll see. Just take them screws out and you should be good to go. So there you guys go. Appreciate you watching. And I'm gonna say Shea Bear the Myth the Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Hot one. <laughs> there, that's good enough. We'll see you soon. Bye bye and take care.